hello so it's absolutely pouring down with rain and we are down at the allotment um just starting to secure the poly tunnel um it is absolutely pouring down but good old english weather finally here um so we haven't actually had any rain for like weeks 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 we had a few sprinklings i would say but nothing like this so we actually really need it we're on a hose pipe van where we are in the country not allowed to use a hose pipe at the moment because of a water shortage so actually we really need this rain but it is absolutely pouring down so yeah we're just going to start to secure the poly tunnel another job that we, <laughs> we should we should have done ages ago so yeah, so our aim today is to start to secure the poly tunnel, and <laughs> I don't know what that was. It was a dog. <laughs> Someone's brought their dog down here. <laughs> Vince has got some wood there. Probably can't see him. No one else is down here, so it's about it's about nine o'clock, and normally absolutely packed down here packed you know what i mean there's usually a lot of people down here but it's um we had to actually open the gate this morning which is very very unusual i guess everything's getting watered for everyone so here we go I'm on our way because we're going to be doing stuff in the poly tunnel it doesn't really matter that it's raining it's quite nice actually missed it we're safely in a poly tunnel it is pouring it's absolutely pouring down but we're going to be doing everything in here so vince has got um some posts that he's going to be putting into each corner um to secure the actual frame um we were actually hoping to be securing the um the cover as well today but as it's absolutely pouring down we're probably going to have to do that another day because we're going to be digging that in and um, to the ground outside while Vince has just gone back to the van to pick up the rest of the bits we need, I'm just going to sew some foxgloves into the bed, the no-dig bed I made. The first bed I made in here, um, which I think I put some lettuce in, and they just didn't make it. I think it was just too hot in the really hot weather we had when it was above 40 degrees. Um, the other salad bed's doing really well. Everything's coming out really nicely in this one. So I'm really, really pleased with that. But um, I needed to get some of these started anyway, so I thought I might as well use that bed that I'd already um, started here. Okay, so that's the fox glass done. So they are now in here. So they should be showing signs of life pretty soon. But I'm just gonna show you, when I've just been out to get some water, what's going on outside, some progress. Get my umbrella up. Okay, so these are the beds that I so few weeks ago they are coming on i think they have struggled in the hot weather as well they are coming on the radishes are coming my dwarf beans have started to get flowers so that's really exciting this is my mooly radish these are coming on quite well actually they're getting quite big. They should be ready quite soon. 
and I did the coriander in the corners and they're coming up as well. So these are my climbing French beans. These are starting to get flowers as well. So again, they're getting really tall, really exciting. But this is the most exciting thing, my sweet corn, because let me try and get round the right way. The tassels have actually come out. How exciting is that? Because, look at that, we've got the tassels. That's the first one that I've seen. Can't see any more on here. Look, these little ones here that I left in, um, right at the front, these little dwarf things, they've got flowers on as well. But I'm so excited about seeing that tassel. Absolutely over the moon about that. Okay, so here we go this way. So my rhubarb, still doing really well. But look at the green manure. Absolutely fantastic. So this has all really started to come up, along with the borage as well. So I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Really, really pleased with how things are coming. This rain's really going to help as well. Right, we're ready now to start securing the polytunnel, I think. So the idea is for the posts to be in each corner, so four po corner posts, and then attach the polytunnel frame to the posts that are buried into the ground. So that should keep it quite secure. Okay, so we now have a post in each corner of the poly tunnel. So that is just dug into the ground quite deep and then just backfilled to hopefully give a bit of support to the frame. And then what we're probably going to do is um, try and secure the cover a bit as well, but we'll have to do that when it's not raining. <laughs> um, is just tucking that cover in for the time being we haven't actually got any wind forecast so we should actually be all right and it's just been raining so that's fine and we've had some really nice weather but it can get really windy here so we will need to secure that sooner rather than later thank you so much for watching we'll see you again soon